right, welcome back. It's time. You are here for the most amazing show on the planet. That's right. If you're tuning in, you already know that you're about to be amazed beyond belief. That's right. This is Saturday Night Gaming presenting a Heavenscape game called Void Runner. I'm going to be your GM and your host, Tony Stevens, and I'm going to go ahead and let my party and crew introduce themselves. But before I do, I'm going to remind you to click like, subscribe, and share with all your family, friends, and even your frenemies. And we'll go ahead and start at my right. Go ahead and introduce yourself and your character and a little bit about yourself uh, as far as what your character's been through so far. Like so far this game? or So far in this campaign or in general, if you want. It's up to you how talkative you are. Uh, my name is Jessica. Um, I'm playing Adine, and we are currently on the Void Runner. Um, we have successfully, uh, thanks to Gabriel Clark, is that your name? Uh, evaded some Stein ships for now. Um, and I don't know what's going to happen next. There's That's some, true. Yeah. There's a, a weird dude and some weird dream sequences. Hey, your name is Gabriel Clark. Mm-hmm. Like the office of Clark Gable. Oh, never would have thought of that. Gabriel Clark. Yeah, that's close. Yeah. Ronnie, tell us about yourself and your character. Hi, I'm Ronnie. I'll be playing Gabriel Clark. <laughs> he had to really think of that. That's correct. <laughs> and he is a... He is Argonaut, Unit 002, Super Soldier... That's more than I knew about him last game. So I wow. Did. Oh, my turn. Um, I'm Quinn, and I will be playing Kelsa for the literal walking dream. Um, <laughs> he's gorgeous, beautiful. He's gorgeous um, and beautiful. Yes, he's everything. Oh, that's a he's, double mint package. He's both your wildest dream and your craziest nightmare. Um, what did I do last game? What didn't I do? Um, I let everyone have fun. They got to experience their true inner self. And I think we're evading some ship guys. <laughs> I don't, still don't really know what a spaceship is. Or an engine. <laughs> or an engine. Well, I know what an engine is. I just wanted to play with you guys. So You guys were fun. All right. Uh, my name is John, and uh, my character uh, is Tom. He is a cosmic being. Uh, the one that's interacting with this particular crew is like a tiny Tom. Tiny. Well, he is not the tiniest. Of he's Toms. not the tiniest Tom, but he is a smaller Tom than the the Tom that's bigger than that he sprang from. <laughs> is he about like a grande? Which he's not part venti. of the big Tom is he? So, here's the thing. Don't ask questions that get him into trouble. <laughs> shame, shame, shame. So, some Toms are aware that they are appendages of the a bigger Tom. The uh, and other Toms think that they're the one true Tom. And, uh, what is Tom and are unaware for? that they are just the dandruff that fell off of the original Tom. It's possible, yes. What does Tom stand for? Uh, Time's omnipotent master. It also loosely translates into the distant ruckus. Yeah. Depends on, you know. Who you're talking to and what yeah. language. Yeah. All right. Well, that sounds so. great. So, um, yeah. You left off. You did realize that there was a very large ship run by Stein. Uh, you did experience some trouble in dealing with an android who wanted to damage that ship. And disagreeing with him completely and running away from it. However, he did plant charges and make a little boom happen. And some energy ripples came out causing issues. To be fair, he wanted us to sacrifice ourselves to blow up their ship. And I didn't sign on for that. Well, androids probably sacrifice themselves for the greater good a lot. And don't think about their selfishness. But that's okay. I ran away. We're just, as synthetic beings, less uh, narcissistic. That's really all it is. I was worried about the orphans. And that's good. That's not narcissistic. I wasn't thinking of you. Uh-huh. I was thinking of Butch. No! <laughs> I just wanted to save my own hide. Brother, is that you? 
It's me! No. Oh, Dutch! I thought something bad had happened to you. <laughs> it did. I took. I am a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shiny. Oh, is Dutch like the 4 2 Dutch on the ship? Oh, no. Oh, oh that would be funny. That <laughs> yes. would be funny. Um, anywho. Y'all are y'all are on this ship evading the the Stein evasion. You're evading him for now. Um, you also did encounter a very quirky Heavenscape princess known as Calcifer. I mean Prince. He doesn't have an animal I pet be either. Yet. He does need to pick up an animal pet that talks, and then we are fully on Heck for Gabriel. there you go nice so now you've been evading for some time now there were larger ships that have been sent out against the exodus by this large craft that stein has floating in the void at this point Um, however you've managed to run and gun for quite some time now how much time you don't really know because again, there are no stars, there are no setting suns, no moons, no cycles that you can really figure out. And the compasses, navigation systems, and time pieces on this ship seem to be malfunctioning on a regular basis. So knowing about how long you've been doing this is primarily up to you and how long you feel like you've been doing it. So for one person, an hour of no talking may seem like a lifetime. For another, it's a minute. Would I be accustomed to this and not, you know, weirded out by it at all? Uh, you may be flamboyant and unweirded out by it. Just another Monday. Just, you know, just Thanks. another day. Don't even have days. Just, this is what I do. Just one day at a time. I don't even count those. Just one waking moment of awesomeness. A never-ending nightmare. Wake out and exude excellence. So, you have been evading. However, things have continued to malfunction on the ship. Even though you got the engine repaired and you were able to go again, each time the ship seems to have a new mechanical error, a new malfunction. If only our ship mechanic was here. He is here, but he is currently uh, in the process of bonding with the Solaris unit and trying to get more repairs done to build himself out further since we all know that he has most recently become pure robot and that's that's an issue for him well probably wouldn't we bring bonded. it up to his he face. and i bonded we had a bonding moment well he yeah he loves you you're his you're his goddaughter and all that so that's great but right now he's getting repairs from his parental unit so Leave him alone. Leave him be. Let him process through his grief. So, currently, another alarm sounds. You can hear it throughout the ship. Now, remember, this is a very large ship. It's something that you could get lost on easily. Something that you could lose track of which corridor you're in. Um, It's not a very tiny vessel. It is compared to the island that Stein made for himself, but this is a large ship. However, the alarm blares, you hear it across every single deck in every room. Voice comes on the speakerphone and it is, there's actually an announcement tone that happens right before he starts to speak. Ding dong ding. Moonstrom. Listen, listen, everyone. I, I need assistance. Our current mechanic is currently unable to tend to any issues. I need someone to get to the reactor core as fast as possible. It's a dangerous job. Someone has to do it. Preferably somebody that knows how to. Re- Hey, reactor cores. That'd be good. Yes, Runestrom out. Ding dong ding. Um, I have known nothing about reactor. Yeah, I'm going to kind of look between the people here. That rules me out. 
I'm not what you call the science type. Do you know how to repair a reactor core, Tom? Maybe. <laughs> is this a maybe yes? Yeah, this that was is not the time for maybes. What was it? I had computers. This is a maybe. Let's maybe you can do course. it and you're going to do it, or maybe. Well, no, we haven't we gotten to the. I'm gonna do it. Part we're just at the part whether. <laughs> well, let's I back just forward to find out if he knows the, how to do, do it. Part. It. Do yes. you know how to do I it? I will check. Back I kind of don't want to die. <laughs> Oddly enough, while you're trying to think about this, somebody's like pulling on your hand. What? It's probably Freddy. And you look down. Uh huh. Hey, you're like really shiny. How did you get so shiny? Who are you, dude? I'm Frederick. Everybody knows me. Freddy. How did you get your shoelaces untied? Oh, I cut them off. Smart thinking. Easy kid. peasy, lemon greasy. Where did you get a knife? You might want to give this back to Remy. Oh, okay. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to be happy about this, you know. Well, don't tell him. From, from How the am mouth I going to not babes. tell him if I give it back to him? Tell he, him you, you took it. Lie to Remy for you? No. Now, you did. You took it from me. Oh. It's just that you're leaving out parts. It's omission. Okay, a little Freddy. white lie never hurts anybody. Listen to the very pretty guy. Thank you, small person. You're welcome. I'm going to be better looking when I'm your age, but that's okay because... Um, that's debatable. I don't really think so. Remy, it's a consensus. Remy, stranger danger. I don't know this guy. Seems a little You don't weird. know the child? Oh, Freddy? Right, sorry. Not really. The reason I said Stranger that. Stranger danger. But what on. about this guy? He's like. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you trust him to talk to the walking nightlight. Yeah. I mean, well, he looks like. The a, one that took off his underwear. He's no, like an he action didn't. figure. He took his finger off. Okay, that's different. He can mm. take his fingers off? <laughs> He's also walking around touching can you people. Can you do that thing? You touch me without consent? I can. You want to see? I do. Okay. Hi, I'm Tom Thorne. <laughs> oh, mind blown! Yeah, he talks to you. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to roll to Tell see me. if I can find an instruction manual in my um, pad. What kind of knife is this? Go ahead. Is this it, like a battle knife or like a pocket knife? Like, it do I write looks it in my like weapon? a <laughs> throwing knife <laughs> that has a rune inscribed on it. Oh, no. Well, what rune is it? It is a rune that looks like a lightning bolt. I rolled a 10. Yikes. Can I use it as a weapon? Total. To do what? Can I use it as a huh? weapon? I told you just to try to find a instruction manual. For a, for, for a fusion reactor? Yes. You don't have one. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's why I said uh, it. It's like I'm going to look in the pad and see if I can find one. Yeah, no. You definitely didn't find one at all. You actually fried out the pad. You might have locked yourself out of it for some <laughs> oh, Do you guys want to see if I... Well, can help you. Where's that noisy one that spoke over the box? The what was his name? Trump. No, the the child Ian. Yes, I think that was his name. The little imp. God, he should be able to fix it, right? I mean, he's moving this thing. Um, I think he's flying the ship, right? I mean, yes, but he he portrays himself as being this awesome person. I'm sure he can. Have you fix. met him? No, I have not. Oh. Well, his voice does sound like he's very confident. Fake I'd throw a rock at him if I saw him. You'd throw a rock at him? Remy. Well, yeah, of course. Remy's knife. Beautiful. Lightning damage. Put a question mark to it right now. I'm going to put it as light damage. Possible lightning damage. Uh, it's not a lightning, but it does look like a lightning bolt. So it's not lightning damage. Well, it still does regular two damage. Yes, just leave it at that for now. You strike me as the type that likes to pull pranks. What was his name? Frederick? Yeah, Frederick. Fred, if you're my mother. Well, I'm not your mother. So don't call me that. <laughs> what about Freddy? <laughs> um, only if you're my Adeen. What's an Adeen? An Adeen is cooler than you. Me? Over here? Hey? That's my name. Oh, short one. Uh-huh. She's got boots. Boots? Boots. Cool boots. Cal looks at his boots. I mean, I've also got boots. Do they make you fly? No. Oh. Well, then they boots. suck. 
I need boots. I don't need to fly to reach things. Um, that sounds like a short person problem. Well, there's a lot of short people around here. I know. Okay, I have boots now. Ah, uh, boots just grow upon your leg. They're, they're leather. Can you do that? Are they made of cotton candy? That's not natural. No, they're leather. Would you like I can some juggle. cotton candy, little girl? That's awesome. <laughs> juggle what? What you got? Chainsaws? Okay, twir- can I twirl my hair? Sure, kid. Do you got chainsaws? Freddy probably no. wants some, but I'm not a little girl. Yeah. You're all little to I'll me. tell you what. You find some, I'll juggle them for you. I kind of tussle with hair. Well, I'll go check with everybody in this massive cargo containment. You, One of them right. has to possibly have some sort of information on chainsaws. Come here. So everybody knows something about everything in here. I, uh, I know something about I, 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 everything. I, I, I stop him. I stop him. I pop a squat. I'll tell you what. You go take some more knives from the gentleman you got those knife from, and I'll juggle those for you. Ooh. Give him a pat on the back. Ah, uh, children. Twinkle in his eye, mischief. I remember when I was a little tyke. I'm going to um, contact though? Remy. No. Hey, that's kind of fuzzy. Do you, though? Because I have the thingy for Remy. Hey, Remy, I have your knife. No one likes a tattletale. I've been looking for that everywhere. Where did you find it? Freddy brought it to me. He's running around looking for chainsaws now. He cut his shoelaces uh, off. I told you that wasn't a good idea. Arrogant little Chippewa bird. I gotta go find that boy. You know, I got 29 other kids to look after. That Some of them are old enough to help you look after the That other one kids. causes more problems for all of us. Do He's some delegating. Of the other children. Everybody, watch everybody. I'll be back. Freddy is a big enough problem on my own. Make them find buddy sisters. It's a buddy. I'll just ask around. Somebody's got to see him. Somebody knows something about everything around here. Yeah, Freddy. (laughs) I'm going to go try to stop the reactor core from blowing up. All right. How are you going to do it? I was telling Remy. Oh. That sounds dangerous, Marple You be safe now? Okay. Maybe wear a suit? Just letting you know what I was doing. Tell me when you get back. Okay. Maybe I go do it. Uh, okay. But who will watch it? I don't really know anything about fusion reactors, though. Well, you do have that new lightning thing. But kind of just light. I don't really like lightning. Okay, well, maybe it shocked that one kid. Dang, Freddy, that reminds me. All right, I don't know. Maybe I'll ask around and see if anybody know anything about a fusion reactor. Okay. Let me know. Um, I'm going to uh, head that direction, I guess. It's a big ship, so. So you're just going to head towards the fusion reactor? Marching solo. That's what I'm doing. I don't know what everybody else is doing. We're all, all right. standing around together, I think. Well, he's in the gun turret thing, so. Can be, can be, whatever. Yeah. He could be standing around with you. Yeah, I'm probably standing around in the fusion reactor because we've all been talking. Um, so, I mean, I mean. You go yeah, with her. Head towards the fusion reactor. I mean, if it's going to blow, it doesn't matter where I am on the ship. No, it doesn't. Is the ship equipped with an AI? That'd be handy. Yeah, he's walking around. His name's Solaris. He's uh, here now? I thought he was on the other thing. He's currently helping Heavy Metal fuse with himself. Seems like it'd be a good thing for him to be helping us. Well, maybe when he comes out of programming Heavy Metal's lesser parts, then he'll help you. So when he's helping him, there's no other AI helping the ship? We could always hook a 4-2 up to the ship. Hello. I don't trust 4-2. I am 4-2. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like you read my mind. I don't know. You look like you need assistance. Do you? Can you stop the reactor core from blowing up? <sighs> That's challenging. Possible. Probability ratings probably point more towards if I fuse myself with everyone on this ship, it won't matter if it explodes. That's a terrible idea. And then we could absorb the remaining energy How from the to fusion explosion. How am I talking to him? He's standing in front of you. Oh. So I also see him? I see you. The D was it? What's with the talking here? 
He's evil. He wants to make everyone look like him. He is very shiny. Beautiful. I go up and I That's look what, into his look. face and I start making faces like. <laughs> <laughs> this is why everyone should look like me. But you have no face. So no way to look stupid. But you look stupid because you have no face. <laughs> I can't tell if you're Faces. smiling or you are you sad all the time. I am content. <laughs> what kind of life is content? Does he still have the fedora on? Yes, of course. If you touch my fedora. <laughs> <laughs> What's with the douchey hat? This hat is amazing. So no. is my coat. It has fur lining. No. It is <laughs> obviously better. Sweetie, I don't know who lied to you, but that's a tragedy. It's not even it real fur. It is monotone. It is uniform. It fits in with my color palette. Of bland, boring, lifeless. Well, I don't look like a rainbow vomited on this ship, but... I'm fabulous. Women love this. You it's are reflecting a lot of light it's off of my peacocking. mirror. It's called peacocking. Ah. Google it. It's called peacocking. Hold on. I'm checking with the time database that I have residual information from. No one does that. No. <laughs> it's because I'm a trendsetter. You haven't heard of it. We this. all became me. So That's Okay, something. the reactor core. Can we get back to how we're going to fix this? Yes, I will go ahead and start injecting you now. <laughs> I don't think that anyone <laughs> consented to be injected. And remember, Solaris says you, we have to consent before you can enter. Oh, well, I, I will consent. Yet. I have to understand you. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Oh, he's, he's going to inject, inject, inject Tiny Inject Tiny, tiny Tom. Tom. He puts a pink Stick in. Stick it in me. <laughs> Stick it in me. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden, bloop, bloop, it grows arms and head and everything. Hi, I'm Tiny Tom. Back good. Let him voice his character. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and inject him now. <laughs> that sound like it's gonna be fun. <laughs> <time. laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you're still looking at your hand. <laughs> it's it's becoming a tom two. Oh, is a it four, a tiny Tom too? So is a this, four Tom. Is this like something he gets to write as like on his equipment list or on his <laughs> right, let list me take of him back. Like However, companions? What's crazy is as the nanites of the 4-2 unit begin to overtake the Tom, little cracks of light begin to shine through and then explodes back into Tom. Okay. I, I motion for little Tom to come reassimilate. Oh, you got to hold your pinky in because you don't have the pinky. Okay. <laughs> Ah. I wanted to keep that. <laughs> no, it no, was no. Anomalous. Not for you. Get used to disappointment. Well, you do seem to have experience with that. Okay, I will well, take your advice. We're wasting time, so I'm going to continue to go. Let's continue to walk out. towards the people we are going to inject. Then I don't You're think that was the plan. Anyone. What about him? He looks inject worthy. Has he consented? Because remember, that's important. We have to consent before but, we inject people. He said, I have no smile, and neither does he. So if I make him me, then we will both He still same. has, everybody has to be okay with you injecting him. Just like he said okay, and then you did it. Who made you the queen of consent? I'm just reminding you what your dad, person, father, Fine. boss said. I'm whoever he is. going to stand over here. Good okay. luck. Okay. Is this where he gets angsty and repels? I don't know. I've never encountered this oh, particular I hope type so. of voice. I haven't yet. seen one of those in a long time. Staring at a corner. He usually has a different voice. Yes, he <laughs> The last so one ended very, very tragically. All right, so you're continuing down to the fusion reactor. Now, as you get there, you open the door. Um, you can tell that there are noises coming out of this room that just don't seem right at all. Screeches, metal scratching on itself, hisses like a leak somewhere, okay. and it's very hot. I saw my suit on, right? Yes. Okay. I would hope so. So, I would... What's up? Unless mine, you're a weird alien creature. Mine, hey. mine has AC on, so it just... A little fan. AC. Yeah. Yeah. 
So probably like, turn on the DC too and rock out. What kind of fusion reactor is this? Like, what is being fused? Oh, probably hydrogen and oxygen. Energy. What kind of energy? That's a good question. Cosmic Considering it cubic was, energy. Oh, it was what? made on Vala, so that's why I'm wondering if it's running yes. off of some Crystalline kind of... Crystalline-based cosmic cubic energy, which actually... Type energy? Maybe, but it makes you travel much faster than void travel. Can I roll to see if it's room type So it's energy? an... It's an FPV. Oh, wait, I just got it. Faster than void travel system. I just got Whoa. it. I can't talk about it yet. Get it? Rune Strum. Is, is that on? Is that on sure. Purpose? Let me check my notes. Yes. It's Rune Strum. Get it? My wildest dream. Rune Strum. Strum. Oh my. Oh. He's strumming the runes. Um, I got a twenty-seven. River. Twenty-seven to see Secret. if I can detect any rune energy within the reactor core. Okay, so at this point, you can tell that there does seem to be some residual base of what you would consider runic energy. Um, however, it's not necessarily like what you would have picked up off of the giant rock that you were playing with in, in on Valos. It doesn't feel the same as what you took from Thulgrim and then returned to him. So it's not a source stone. It's not as powerful but as it that, has but it does runic have some energy runic in energy it. to it, yeah. Um, combination of runic energies. With that roll, is it high enough for me to tell anything else about the power fluctuation? Like, is the rune energy causing the problem or keeping the problem at bay? It does not seem to be the problem, but the solution to a degree. Can I try to enhance the rune energy with my Sure. I'll go ahead and set your difficulty rating at, uh, what, what are you running your pendant off of? Um, I, I don't think I've ever rolled for it before. I think it's, it's just a thing that I can say that I want to do. An exploit, but it helps with uh, rolls, like how you would roll it. But I don't think to I have... To know if you succeed or fail, because obviously exploits don't always go our way. Right, but I, this one... Because it activated in the presence of things, but it usually nullified until you no, put enhance on I it. I have level two, right. which means I can do either one. I can negate or enhance it. And I don't think, like when I was trying to help him with the void portal thing he was trying to do, I had to roll acrobatics to get there, but I think once I got there, it just did it. Right. I'm well, not because sure. you weren't really necessarily always aware that you were in control well, of it. Well, I, I have no idea. Because I don't think that we've ever set it off of anything. You never intended to use it. That was the I, thing. I guess I could roll against whatever the benchmark is, but I would Roll it off wisdom. You're going to be doing this like a perception thing almost anyway. Like you don't necessarily know how the pendant works, and you're just okay. trying to go off your instincts to use it. So go ahead and roll a 25 off of that. Um, I want to use a favor. I will let you hand me a blue chip. 20. That was 23. Nope, can't do it. This time. All right. I can try again next time. So you do hold the pendant out. You're trying to activate it. You want to enhance the runic energy, but... Well, I got a 23, which is not epic failure. Right, it's not an epic failure. But it doesn't seem to do that. So it doesn't seem to work in your favor. Okay. And it almost weakens the energy in the presence of that.